What the actual heck is a collagen legging? What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and happy new year. We're kicking off the start of 2024 with a brand new Buff Bunny legging, introducing their collagen legging. This is dropping January 20, nope. Which is dropping January 6th. I think this collection overall is perfect for the start of the new year. Genesis, you know, meaning new, refreshed, a brand new take on everything, including your active wear. But I really wanted to focus on this collagen legging. It literally is what you think it is. It's collagen infused active wear. I didn't know this could be a thing, is this skincare meets activewear? Truth is, you guys, if you think I'm obsessed with activewear, you should see my skincare collection. I'm obsessed with skincare as well. So when I heard about collagen legging, I was like, this might just be right up my alley. But at the same time, I'm thinking collagen legging, is this a gimmick? Now in this drop, they're coming out with their standard traditional pieces. You know, the legacy leggings, things you typically see in every Buff Bunny launch, they're still coming out with that. So rather than going through things I've already reviewed, a thousand times on this channel. Check out my other Buff Money videos. I've reviewed them so many times it hurts. The big focus in today's video is going to be none other than the collagen leggings. I personally found these to be the most interesting. I know a lot of you guys were specifically asking about this legging. I feel like the interest is there primarily with this legging. With that being said, let's talk about the collagen leggings. Now, these new news unfortunately don't have a crazy color palette. So for example, these collagen leggings, they're coming in the color I have right here, which is cold brew. Okay, looking like a coffee. And it's also coming in black. Black. <laughs> I have the full set, the leggings, and the bra here. This feels like every other traditional legging I've ever tried. It's soft, yet stretchy. I mean, I could go into all the boring details, but there's nothing that stands out to me that makes it like crazy. Like it's not slippery, it's not ultra brushed, anything like that. I noticed right away the glute contour, the upper glute contour, I should say. A nice Mickey Mouse ear contour. That's what I'm gonna call it from now on because that's what it looks like. This is a very thick contour seam that actually runs down the leg, swoops right down, adds some movement I feel it, it is very three-dimensional. So when I'm feeling it, it's very raised and very thick, but when I put them on, nothing that I notice, nothing that concerns me. Slight dip in the front on the waistband. Overall, very typical of what I've been seeing Buff Bunny come out with the past few launches. I feel like they're really experimenting with a lot of thicker seams. My thing is, as long as I don't feel them, we're good. Right here in the front of the waistband, there's no seam right at top, okay? Right at top, does that even make sense? However, turn it right around here, right where it meets the seam here, all the way around back to the other side that it meets this seam, has a seam at the top. So it's only in the back. This is just to help it stay put. And it worked, I'll give it to him. It worked. There was no gaping, there was no sliding. Tested it on the treadmill, no sliding down my legs. It's a fairly breathable legging. Just a moderate compression. Moderate waistband too. It's not a highly compressive waistband. Decent amount of stretch. Glutes, you know, nothing to write home about. Subtle, nothing extreme. I think this is the focal point, the upper glute contour. I don't think they wanted to go for any wedgie or scrunch or anything like that. And you know what, honestly, it's pretty refreshing because I talk a lot about scrunch this, scrunch that glute enhancing this, that. I know in our social media world we have here, and on this channel we talk a lot about social media based brands. It's a lot of scrunch everywhere you turn. And so our little family we have here, I feel like the general consensus is we do like scrunch bums. However, I do feel like in the general world of activewear, a lot more people don't like it than do. <laughs> I mean, when you see celebrities, candidly, I never see one wearing a scrunch bum. I don't think the Kardashians wear scrunch bums. I don't really follow them, but I don't think I've ever seen them wear a scrunch bum. They don't need it. I just feel like scrunch bums are just one slice of the active wear pie. When I read up on what kind of collagen they had going on in this, it was uh, from fish scales. So my very first concern, you guessed it, was, oh my God, does it smell like fish? doesn't, thank goodness. Could you imagine that? Could you imagine getting your collagen leggings in and now you just smell like a big fish? We try to avoid this area smelling like fish. Okay, oh, um, smells good actually, it smells nice. So the collagen material they're using in this legging is called Eumorphil. I really hope I'm saying that correctly. Very environmentally friendly, which is why I actually really like these leggings. I am a huge fan of collagen. I drink it every single morning in my coffee. 
freaking from the brand Neocell. I had to think about it for a second. I also take their pills as well. Now, I don't really know if collagen works topically. I've heard mixed things about that. So I don't know. This is why I'm saying like, Part of me felt like, is this a gimmick? Part of me is like, well, actually, this is a great idea. This is cool. I know that Buff Money was saying they made this little more moderate to higher compression because they wanted it to fit snugger to the skin, hence more of a collagen benefit. The way I see it is, what's the harm? If it does have some kind of benefit, as long as the price didn't increase, why not? Throw that collagen in everything. Throw it in my sports bra, throw it in my backpack. <laughs> Just throw it everywhere, throw it on my socks, okay? I could use collagen on my feet. So you might be wondering, okay, if it's made out of fish collagen, what about allergies? It sounds silly, but nevertheless, I'm sure somebody's gonna comment like, yes, that's me, I have an allergy to fish. The company that made this textile ran it through a bunch of different tests. They claim it should be just fine. However, you just never know. So the big takeaway from this collagen material is that it's meant to promote soft skin. But with that being said, this baby was not sweat friendly. It's meant to maintain moisture. And it did. It was a, it was a soggy, soggy, soggy piece of bread. But other than that, the legging itself was very comfortable, okay? If you want like just a subtle glute contour enhancement, a, a very low key legging that can serve many uses, honestly. I could see myself working out in this or you know, going out in this. It's a versatile legging. These are very squat proof. I think you can see a little bit in the black briefs, just a little bit. But if you wear a nude thong like I did in the first clip, you should be a-okay. I think as long as the price doesn't go up with the whole collagen thing, then yeah, I think this legging is worth it. And whether or not the collagen actually does anything or not, at least we know it's very environmentally friendly. The sports bra just wasn't my speed like the legging was. Like I could have done with this legging, but the combination of this legging and this sports bra combined, it pinched the heck out of me. It wasn't the most flattering, and it's all because of the sports bra band. Check out this sports bra here. This is not adjustable. You have removable padding. They've really been playing around with their necklines, and I think this is absolutely beautiful. Slight little V, almost like a sweetheart neckline. Plain bracer back, nothing special on the back. Very, very thick seam here, okay? This is where a lot of that support comes from. This band is a seamless band reminding me of the dream house. Do you remember the bands from the dream house? It was just like one piece of material, except that band was pretty much not stretchy at all. Do I sound stupid? No. This band thankfully has some stretch in it, but yeah, it's still compressive. It wasn't very flattering on me in the dream house collection. And I'm saying the same thing here with this one. I think without this band and this heavy seam, if it was more of a low profile bra, similar to this one actually, I'm gonna get questions, this is camo fitness, not buff bunny. I know somebody's gonna be like, but what's the bra you're wearing? It's camo fitness. I definitely have my favorites from buff bunny when it comes to their sports bras. This just didn't happen to be one of them. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here and I will catch you in my next video.